let's face it, these two special edition Xbox controllers look fantastic. And if you're anything like us, then the Sky Cipher and the Ghost Cipher are probably at the top of your wish list. Even if you're not in the market for a new controller, we still think it is great to just look at them. And we would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below the like button, which one of these two controllers you prefer. So this one, this is the Sky Cipher controller with this really nice deep dark blue transparent case. And this white one with this clear transparent case is called Ghost Cipher. Now, just a word of warning, I'm gonna be using the word identical quite a few times within this video. Starting off with the glaringly obvious, these two controllers are identical to every other standard Xbox controller. They have an identical shape, identical layout, and they do both feel fantastic in the hand and both have the same high quality build you'd expect from every other Microsoft product. And you might think that because they are transparent, then they might look or feel a bit toy-like, a bit cheap or a bit gimmicky. But we can confirm that none of this is true. Yes, both have this transparent case, but the plastic used is high quality and doesn't feel cheap in any way. The plastic on the front isn't super smooth, which you might assume at first glance. It actually has an ever so slight texture to it, which gives it a nice premium and quality feel. If you had your eyes closed and were handed a standard controller and one of these special edition transparent controllers, you really wouldn't be able to tell the difference as again, they just feel identical. The only difference between these and your standard Xbox controller is that unique and visual treat of now being able to see inside of the controller, which most people have probably never seen inside of before. But it's not only the front that's transparent, both of these controllers also have transparent size, which actually has a textured grip, which really does help with grip. That's because the grip on the transparent sides matches the texture on the rear rubber section where your fingers sit. And yes, this section is rubberized, and what we really appreciate is the fact that you really cannot feel the difference between these two sections. It feels pretty much seamless. And this seam's position, again, is identical to the standard Xbox controller. But let's face it, there isn't really much to see within the side of the controller. It's basically just the inner plastic we get to see. You will notice though that both of them do have solid colors on the back, with the Ghost Cipher having the white and ash gray, and the Sky Cipher having a sky blue and a dark blue. Personally, we do feel that these solid colors aren't as cool looking as their transparent fronts and sides, but you never really see the back of a controller when you're using it or when it's laid down on a table or on display, so this really isn't a deal breaker for us. But these solid colors do lead us onto a few subtle differences between these controllers. The Sky Cipher one having its transparent blue case allows us to see a variety of different colors and tones from within. And this is the color combination they have opted to use for everything on the controller. We can even see the shiny metallic frame inside of the controller. So starting with the circular D-pad, they've used this really nice looking metallic blue which shines and catches the light really well when we're moving it around. And this tonally matches the controller perfectly as it seems to pull out the shiny metallic frame from inside. And this metallic blue color also matches the triggers on the back. But you will notice the bumper buttons are a dark blue and both the triggers and bumpers share this textured grip. And like I mentioned just now, the back of the controller is a mix of that dark blue and a sky blue. The analog sticks on the front follow this same design with a sky blue base and a dark blue rubberized top which also has that same texture grip as the triggers and bumpers. This color scheme continues on the other buttons too which are also that dark blue but have a really nice bright sky blue as that accent color which makes it super easy to see. By choosing this color combination, everything seems to subconsciously link together beautifully with its transparent blue, metallic blue, dark blue, and sky blue. Now jumping over to the Ghost Cipher controller, we can start to see there are a few subtle differences. Being able to peer through that clear and transparent case means we see a variety of white and silver metallic parts. But they have decided to use an accent color which isn't found inside of the controller for that circular D-pad, which is this goldy bronzy color. Using this metallic bronze means it shines and catches the light really nicely when we're moving it around. And this color does seem to help elevate the controller slightly with that shine, and that hint of color just makes it pop. 
If they just opted for a matching silver metallic color for the D-pad, I just feel like it would be lost against the silver metallic on the inside. So I'm pleased they did something slightly different with this controller compared to the matching colors on the Sky Cypher one. And this metallic bronze color also matches the triggers on the back. You'll also notice the bumper buttons are this light ash gray, and both the bumpers and triggers share this textured grip. And again, the rear of the controller uses a solid white and that ash grey colour. The analog sticks on the front follow that rear colour design, with a plain white base and an ash grey rubberized top, which also has the same texture grip as the triggers and bumpers. That colour scheme continues on the other buttons too, which are also that ash grey colour, but have white as their accent colour, which makes it fairly easy to see. By choosing this white and ash grey colour combination with a hint of metallic bronze, everything seems to gel together nicely. Even though that metallic bronze isn't a colour found within the controller, it just feels like a nice statement colour and just looks fantastic. So overall, both controllers follow an identical look, identical style and identical layout with their transparent parts, solid colours, metallic sections. The only and main difference is the metallic bronze isn't a colour found within the controller, unlike everything being blue on the Sky Cypher one. So let's now take a deeper dive into the transparent sections and see the differences. The transparent blue they've used on the Sky Cypher is fairly dark and is slightly trickier to see into the controller compared to the clear transparent plastic used on the Ghost Cypher controller. For instance, being able to see through the controller more with the clear plastic allows us to see the inner workings more clearly. When we click the bumper buttons, we get to see quite clearly it moving inside. But this is almost impossible to see moving on the Sky Cypher, as the dark blue bumpers get lost within. Likewise, when we spin the analog sticks, we can see the sky blue base spin around slightly, but when we compare it to the moving analog sticks on the Ghost Cypher controller, these things really stand out and we can clearly see it moving around. Then we have the vibration motors. Seeing these spinning and whirling around is so awesome, and again is really easy to see inside of the clear transparent case. But the blue transparent case does obstruct the view slightly and is definitely more conspicuous. And for me personally, the main reason we would consider getting one of these special edition controllers is for that transparent case, so being able to see inside is a main selling point. But don't get me wrong, we can see through both of these controllers. It's just slightly more transparent on the Ghost Cypher compared to the Sky Cypher. So yes, being able to see inside both of them is awesome, and I do not think I'll ever get bored of seeing it all moving and working inside. Which is really rare these days, as most manufacturers don't opt for this design, so thank you Xbox for making these awesome looking controllers. So, which one of these is best? I think it comes down to personal preference. Do you prefer blue or do you prefer white? And we cannot choose which one we actually prefer, so we want you to go down in the comments and vote do you prefer the Sky Cypher or the Ghost Cypher? And like I keep saying, both of these are special edition controllers so won't be available forever, and if you fancy pick a one up, or both, I'd grab one whilst you can. Or you might be thinking, I wish they made these in different colours. And we are as well, we would love to see a sort of green, lime greeny one, we think that would look fantastic, but what other colours would you like to see in this transparent design? But at the end of the day, we do think that both of these controllers are truly awesome, whether we are using them in our hands or just having them on a shelf as a display. And we do really hope that you've enjoyed looking at the subtle differences between these controllers. If you have, a like would be really appreciated, and if you're not already, a subscribe would be awesome as well. And we think that you will like a couple of our other videos next.